in the show. I didn't see it in the uh, in the flying program, but <laughs> wow, when it arrived, we fried half the stuff up here in the commentary. There it is. There launched. we go. We're off the ground. So, as we can see, this uh, this aircraft is electrically powered as well. So it's actually a very simple design that we've actually got here. But the the material it's made from is what we're, is being demonstrated here. And often a lot in, in aerospace, it's not until you actually create an aircraft that gets off the ground that you actually appreciate how materials can be developed. And so what you're seeing here is very special, and it's, a, it's a right at the cutting edge of, of aerospace technology in terms of the materials that are involved. The, uh, the wing being made of graphene, uh, it, it, it will conduct electricity very, really efficiently. And so uh, it could be developed further into being a, a solar panel as being part of the structure of the wing. And as graphene is adopted more within the aerospace industry in terms of the materials for, uh, for structures, you'll see them getting lighter. They'll be increasingly resistant to lightning strikes. And it'll, be, um, it'll just make things, the, 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 the age of electrically powered aircraft will be that much closer because the batteries that, uh, that would be used will be become more efficient and will allow for greater range. But uh, what we're seeing at the moment is, is right at the early stages of, of uh, materials development. Yes, as we were just talking about earlier, the uh, graphene is 200 times stronger than steel. So yes, it's the uh, uh, it is a very strong piece of uh, uh, of structure, and it uh, it's built into the into the structure of the aircraft. So what got you into UAVs? Yes, an interesting one. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the well, it, it, I started. Uh, um, in aerospace, uh, so I've been in aerospace for almost 30 years now. But uh, uh, in particular, unmanned was uh, was when I joined a particular company that we were operating an unmanned aircraft as a service. Uh, that was uh, that was quite a radical approach, and uh, and has been adopted throughout the world for in various contexts, so mostly military. But uh, it we'll see it increasingly adopted around the world. Uh, I know Amazon keep talking about delivering things by by unmanned. Um, I'm not convinced by that just yet, but just uh, yet, just yet. That's the thing. <laughs> just yet is where we're going to be in the future. When, th when they can land on my lawn, I'll be impressed. Have you got a lawn? Oh yes. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If I lived in a block of flats, I'd be slightly more skeptical. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so when I was talking to Billy a little earlier. We talked about the use of graphene, and his commentary was mainly around the use of graphene as integrated as part of a, graph, a, a, a carbon fiber structure. We're right at the beginning of seeing this type of technology being uh, adopted within aerospace. So as I mentioned earlier, this is really early days. This is, this is a new piece of technology. And there we go. We're going for a low, a low pass. There we go. Oh, we're coming into a nice stall. Not sure if we meant to do that. Anyway, we're coming for a nice gentle landing. There we go. Oh, and we're down. 